Hi you guys, good morning, or in this case it is afternoon, noon time, probably the time where most people are having lunch here. Greg and I are off to Bunnings and we're hoping that we can find some really useful stuff while we're there. The other day I found this um, $20 gift card and it's for Bunnings so I thought you know what let's try it out and apparently you activate it once you get there. Um, so the good news is it's a Friday and it's Greg's day off. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, I think he's feeling happy about it. We got up this morning and we cleaned. It's sort of been our, our morning. Yeah. But it had to be done and as far as I know you haven't hated it. No. Managed to put the um, hard drives together and make it work, which is good too. Yeah. So I believe Greg is talking about his Xbox stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh. Is that just cloud or is that... I don't know, let's just have a look. We can see what looks like a bit of smoke happening far in front of us. I'm sure it's nothing to... Probably not going to worry nothing about Nothing to but... concern ourselves about, but... It obviously got your attention because I was talking to you and then you didn't really answer. Sorry. About the Xbox yes, stuff. Yes, I was talking about the Xbox, yeah. Yeah, because not everybody knows that you have Xbox, honey. Okay. Well, I have an Xbox. Mm. And I stream most nights except for Thursdays and Sundays. He's very committed and I believe he has 200 plus uh, followers on TikTok. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Honey, you've come a long way. Yeah. In the last, what is it, how long have I been doing this now? Again? I feel like it's been three or four weeks. Maybe a month? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a month. But it didn't take long for you to, didn't take long for you to rock it with all this stuff. Now get. We just had traffic light. Yeah. Now we just got to get. Uh, just got to make my video shorter because apparently they're too long. What do you mean they're too long? Uh, that, they give you 15 to 60 seconds and um, apparently not many people like the 60 second videos. Everybody's different. Yeah. Which means some people would like it, I yeah. would think. It's all about your target audience. That's the one. Apparently well, most of my fans are in America though. <laughs> yeah. Well, we get people on YouTube watching from Canada, America, and I've been having makeup people from the UK in Glasgow. Glasgow. Wait, that's Scotland. That's it? Scotland. I even had, yeah, so I had one from Scotland. I have one from UK. So, you know, we're very international, attractive people. What do you mean? Okay, I've got to be 40 at this moment. Okay. Oops. Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to show you how beautiful it is out here. Oh, check out that. Pretty houses. It really doesn't feel like Friday today, and I know it is. No, it doesn't. Honestly, thought it was Saturday yesterday. I mean, today. I mean, today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I started saying, no, I'll see. It. I'll see what happens Saturday. Well, it's um a long weekend because um one of its one of the days is for. Canberra Day? Yeah. Oh, I tell you what I love is the Canberra show. I have to take you to the Canberra show with us. I think they cancelled that this year, but... Okay, well that's alright. We'll take you to the Batlow Cider Festival. Take you to one of them. 
No, we'll yeah. take you to all of them. Well, anyone that's open. Things are going to open. I truly believe it. I really do. This year is going to open up. Big time. If only we could all whistle like that. And people actually think that there's a bird when he makes that sound. So it'll be a productive day. We'll get lots of stuff done and then Greg is away pretty much all day tomorrow and help fix a friend's car. So I'll be at home cleaning all day. You got your guitar lesson, so come on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, please make sure that I get there. Sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's fine. Um yeah shoot, I do have a guitar lesson. I'll go and practice a bit more. <laughs> Check out how beautiful it is out here. Like this is one of my favourite places to cross by. smoke that Greg was talking about is over this side now but really I just have this belief that if you concern yourself about something you'll attract more to concern about so it's not a it's not a biggie we just finished our shopping trip and we even stopped and had some lunch so that was good for our fuel. As far as shopping is concerned, we got a couple of cute cups, which we needed. Greg was saying he couldn't find any coffee cups. So now we have more. And now we have a shoe rope, which Greg will be setting up at some point today, once we get home. That's the plan. <laughs> and then, we're going to the movies, yay, at 4.30. So I don't know if we'll get the shoe rack done before then or after that. Might be, might be afters because we're about to head home, drop stuffs off. Oh my gosh, that's the thing. When I've eaten lots and going over bumps, not a good combination. Ah, <sighs> okay, that was exhausting. Um, and then when we get home, we only have like an hour or so before we've got to go out again. And then the movie we're going to see is called... Rana the Last Dragon? I think it's called Raya. Raya. Raya or Rava. See, I googled it once and then it came up with something completely different. Because maybe I typed in the name or... But I believe it is Raya. And the dragon. It's only just come out and I saw that it's on Disney but I don't believe that we have Disney activated at the moment. We do have Foxtel and we do have what's the other one called? Uh, um, okay. Netflix but we uh, we don't have Disney. Right, we were in the tunnel just now by the way. We won't have this will be good. They'll just didn't pay for it again. Ah, oh, I can't okay. use it. Okay. But if you want to start using it again, we can. It's fine. So what? Yeah. So when we get, when I get a chance, I will show you guys the stuff that we got today. Oh, I had sushi for lunch, and Greg had a porto. It's his favourite. Yeah. Plus. Lucky boy got ten dollars off his lunch. So an eighteen dollar meal turned into an eight dollar meal, so I'm not that good. No. No, it was well worth it. It was good. It was really good. It was good. And then I tried a plain Nagari. Or Nari. Nagari. Uh -oh. I think it's called Inari. I must Google what it means, but I believe it's like um bean curd filled with rice that was what I had looks like what they're doing some more building stuff over here Sierra must be some more apartments yeah it's like it. ah. more apartments and we used to live in apartments we talk about that before. 
used to live in an apartment and now we're just so lucky that we live in a house and it just means we have more of our own control over what we do. Things and yeah. How many nails are put in the wall and Except we don't have that much hanging up on the walls. No, we can. Soon. Yeah. It is currently 23 degrees outside. It is a warm, sunny day. You definitely see outside. We've got some more buildings coming up over here. This is like the construction work area of Gungarlan. Oh, and the tram! Check it out. You need to get the tram to go to the city if you don't want to get the bus there. There is no bus there. Anymore. Okay, well now there's no bus that goes there. Fine. You have to get the tram. You have to get the tram. Okay! So what? So that's what I thought. I don't mind the tram no, though. No, no, no. This is our life when we sit at a traffic light. And then, the good part about today was that we got lots of bills paid and sorted. Well, that feels good. It's a, it's a good feeling. It's a feeling of relief, literally, getting all that stuff done. Not like that, not really. We're pretty good actually. We've always managed to sort stuff out. We got a new broom. Check them out. Oh, you can't see all of them. You can see the. the... We got $10 to use on a gift card. Yeah. There's not really many things I can think of, but I'm sure Greg can think of many. But we thought we were going to get the shoe. You got old Kmart. I mean, who doesn't like Kmart? You get stuff. I mean, that's sort of, that's sort of like uh, Walmart. Is it? I don't know. I've actually never been to Walmart in America. I've heard of it and Nordstrom, but I couldn't actually tell you whether that is similar to Kmart here. How would you describe Kmart in Australia? It's basically got all your home needs. Got a little bit of furniture. Bikes and toys and clothes and, clothes and TV shoes. Oh well that's not the clothes. Yeah. So it's got your appliances for the house and um stuff that you would need I guess when you're moving in to a new place. Pillows and that. Oh that reminds me, I gotta get those pillows sorted for your mum and dad. I got them washed. But I just, um, because we, we bought, we had been given money to buy Greg's parents some pillows when they come over, and they're coming over next week. And so we got the pillows, I just, um, haven't actually taken them out of the packet yet. They've kind of been just waiting <laughs> to be used. And then we got to make sure that we got pillows for Greg's nan, because she's, now going to be sleeping on the couch when she come up. But I'm not really sure. 
the fluffy pillows or the, the flat ones and as far as I know we mostly have flat ones we don't have big fluffy ones do you remember what she slept on last time she was here so it was really great news that Nan was able to come and stay with us it really was because we didn't think that it was ever gonna happen but it's happening and then the last time she came to stay with us was actually a really unfortunate event because they had a fire in Batlow and so um, Greg's whole family came to stay with us. When I say whole family, I mean mum, dad, nan, and Sam. Bro. And bro. Well, Sam is bro. He's the one we're giving the chest of drawers to and the TV. Um, so they came to stay with us because, of course, we're in Canberra and it was safer where we were. And it was actually really nice to, you know, um, be the place for them to come and stay just to see how things would turn out. And fortunately, their house survived during that time. They just lost um, a couple of sheds. I don't know, Greg knows a bit more than I do. Yeah, a few sheds. Um, and of course, it's always a little bit sad, but we were just very lucky that they did come and stay with us. So we knew that they were safe. Um, and yeah, that was that was really the reason why Nan came to stay with us last time was because of the fire, not because she wanted to. This time we're getting her down for her birthday present. Yep. And uh, sort of glad glad she's coming because I think uh, you said there was a little bit of resistance when I mentioned it last time, wasn't there? Last time. There was a bit of resistance when I mis mis mentioned it. Is that correct? Well, I mean, I'd like to keep this really private, but... Oh, okay. Um, don't, don't worry about so, it. We'll, look, we can cut this out. I'm no, the, no I'm, I'm just going to say what you guys need to hear. The thing is, we wanted to have Nan come and stay with us. And it's, it's understandably fine. She is getting older. She's a little bit more fragile in her ways. And it's only about caring that you know she's kept safe and making sure that trips aren't too far for her and to get from Batlow to here is about two and a half hour drive and I just think that maybe that's what it was is that um Greg's mum was a little bit concerned that you know Nan can't make it so far and it's too much of a big trip for her but Nan was the one who said I really want to come to Canberra so I can go to the War Memorial. And so we piped up and said, yeah, we'll take you. Yeah, we might have, might have to, uh, well, if it wasn't, uh, if we couldn't get it um, with my parents coming, we were going to add a Grandma Napa. Napa. Grand Napa, that's what I said. <laughs> Grand Napa. But in the best way possible, like with her permission, okay, that sort of Grand Napping. <laughs> It'll be good. Because she's been trying to get to the War Memorial ever since my dad was a little kid. My dad, actually, apparently my dad was 12 months old when she tried to get here last to go to the War Memorial. And now my dad is in his 60s. So that's how long it's been since he's tried to, since Nan's tried to get, get here. So 60 years she hasn't been able to get to the Australian War Memorial. Yes. Definitely sounds like a long time in numbers, but you know, it's going to happen and we've got it organized and it sounds like all four of us are going to the War Memorial on Saturday. And that includes Greg's dad um, and his mum will go shopping. <laughs> and that's, well that's kind of what Greg's mum loves anyway. She loves her Ikea. She loves the store things. Well, she loves the furniture shop. Really. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Alright, you guys. We just made it home. We'll um, check back with you later. And once the uh, shoe rack is set up, we'll show you. So I'm just showing you guys Greg's amazing job that he's done over here. Where he's moved the bookshelf around to put our DVDs. 
in a different set of shells. Oh, hang on, it's the same set of shells, but just um, in a different angle. What would you call it? Different construction. Different know. construction, and I really like what he's done here because it's not as high as it was before. I think he brought one down lower, and then. How exciting! We have our shoe rack ready and Greg's already put some shoes and my slippers on there. How do you feel about it honey? Well, Very accomplished? And then up here we have what looks like a um, picture of cars. And I don't know if you can tell, but Greg's into Star Wars. It's really good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Greg and I are back home and I'm keeping my voice low because he's currently streaming downstairs. But I also feel that there's no need <laughs> for me to be loud or... <clears throat> like you can always turn up your volume but we had a really great day today this morning we were able to use our $20 gift card and buy ourselves a new indoor broom we absolutely needed a new one we've been doing so much cleaning recently that I just felt like the last broom had gotten a little bit messy and we just needed a brand new one. So this one was only $10 and then we got a $10 gift card back from Bunnings. So that was so helpful. <clears throat> and of course now we can go back to Bunnings and get some more things that we need next time we go. Followed by that, the day was really enjoyable. I got myself some new makeup, so I'm really looking forward to using that in my next videos when it arrives, of course. So that's on the horizon, upcoming. And then Greg and I had lunch out and it was lovely. He had a porto. Not sure if you guys have ever heard of that. I know it exists in Australia, but I'm not actually sure if it is anywhere else in the world but as you know I haven't been traveling for a while so maybe that's on my list of things to find out or maybe you know of an old part of an Oporto let's start again maybe you know of an Oporto where you live uh, the movie Raya and the Dragon and I really loved it it was such a beautiful story about trusting people and believing that everything is working out which is a message I talk to you guys about all the time so seeing it in movies is always an indication that you know my message is being amplified but in different ways and being a cartoon of course children are able to see it and they can learn that belief as well because if we look back in time there was a lot of fear based around people going out and especially children talking to strangers and to get involved with people they didn't really know much about and this fear of not knowing meant that because they didn't know it was going to turn out bad and I'm not saying that um, that there aren't negative situations because we do notice them and they do happen but what I am saying is that not everything is like that when you are positive and you're safe in your own skin and you have ways of knowing that things are working out and having this expectation of a really great place to be then that is what you attract and so uh, children have a right to be able to go out and have freedom. 
there's this conflicting idea about freedom and being safe and how do we put it? If we can imagine, and I mean, be comfortable in ourselves, then I truly believe that we can teach others to feel that way as well. And that is one of the reasons why when people become successful or when people are working towards that, they have a fear of getting to know new people and what if this person's going to betray me or what if this person's going to treat me bad or whatever it is. And I feel like it really comes down to you as a person and knowing can I handle whatever comes my way and not feel that anything's taken away from me or that I don't have a right to say what I need to say. Anyway, I'm getting carried away here, but I think where I was going with this is that life can be enjoyable in so many aspects. And when we trust who we are, then it doesn't matter about everybody else around us because we know at the end of the day, we've done what was best for us. And sometimes people will do and say things that we don't like or don't want, but rather than thinking it's about them and their way of affecting you, think about how you affect you and not taking what they say and do personally. Anyway, I'm going to talk about what, um, what we got for, <clears throat> from the shops as well as the shoe rack. So we got some cups, which I think are really nice and, you know, just have a pretty pattern on them with these flowers. This I believe was $2. And then we got some more. This one is $1.50. So we're not spending lots of money on cups, but Greg was saying while we were there that it would be really great to have some more because whenever he's looking for cups, he can't find any. So we thought, all right, fair enough. Let's just get a couple more, only three more cups. And then that's the thing with shopping is you never really have to get it all at once. You can always get it in small amounts and just pardon me, add it up on the way. I had a really good dinner, but I ate it a bit late. So excuse me, I had popcorn as well at the movies and that's always really delicious. I love my popcorn. For dinner tonight, I had a bread roll um, that we had got from the bakery, well, like a bakery at the shops, if that makes sense. You know, they have that bakery section in Woolworths or Coles and then avocado and ham to go with it and that was really delicious. That was my dinner. I'm full and my body is telling me that I'm really full. But as you can see, it was a really enjoyable day and I filmed as much as I possibly could, even if it was mostly in the car. But that's the thing is that um, we're definitely working on getting better filming what's happening and I'm still sort of working out where it's safe for me to take my camera and film at certain places. And of course in my home it's easy because I'm in control of my house or I know what I can and cannot film. And um, yeah, I, that's just something I want to share with you guys. I'm starting to feel really tired. Uh, the dishes have been washed. Oh, excuse me, the guys. For the next couple of days have been washed. I've got a guitar lesson tomorrow. 
and um, Greg is going to be out um, after my guitar lesson onwards. I don't know what time he'll be home, but he's helping his friend with his car and um, you know, that's really good. It just means that he's going to be out most of the day and I sort of just got to <laughs> sort myself out and get cleaning done. And then Sunday we've got a busy, busy day. Um, it's good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just thinking about it now. I'm just starting to get tired, I guess, because I know that there's a fair bit of cleaning that has to be done still. But anyway, I wanted to film this video before I go and wash my face because I can't sleep with makeup on and get to bed because my body, even after we had gone out for... Well, even after we'd gone to Bunnings and had lunch out, I came back home while Greg was sorting out the shoe rack. And I'll be honest, when I go to sleep, I go to sleep, nothing stops me. So he even said I was out like a light. As soon as I lay on the couch, I was asleep. And um, then, of course, he woke me up so that we could go to the movies. And we got there on time and everything, and it was all good. It's just that I think my body... Um, has been moving a lot more today than it usually does and that's a good thing um i'm feeling it <laughs> so anyway you guys are absolutely amazing i wish and hope i believe you're gonna have a really great week and if you ever do see the movie ray and the dragon comment below and let me know what you think about it it's nice to hear other people's um thoughts about movies like that i still love cartoon movies and especially Disney it just has these little stories that are helpful for children and adults to comprehend and um, I think I'm going to get some sleep so uh, this is me signing off and I'm sure we'll talk again soon bye you guys